I'm Norman Bolton, Highland Council's Music Development Officer uh, with a responsibility for Youth Music Initiative funding in Highland and we're having a celebration today because we're now entering the 13th year of funding in Highland uh, which comes from Creative Scotland and Scottish Government and we decided that it was time to get lots of schools together to share activities and we've got a couple of schools that are actually doing performances for us and then we've got some guests at lunchtime from Nairn Academy their steel band are going to entertain and in the afternoon we've got a session for all the participants, all 300 of them and we're going to have a, a great big sing and do some work in Gaelic and English um, before they all disappear home. Yeah, my name is Arthur Cormack and I work for an organisation called Fashion and Gale. Well, the, the Highland Council asked Fashion and Gale a number of years ago to provide uh, traditional music tuition in all the Highland Council primary schools as part of the, the YMI and uh, we've been doing that now for I think 11 years or so. Um, so the schools get between 12 um, and 16 weeks of uh, traditional music every year um, and it uh, consists of song, uh, tin whistle, some group work and there's, some, there's been other things introduced over the years uh, like singing along with ukulele, accompaniment and things like that. Um, and they, they work with Scots song, they work with Gaelic song, so they're getting a good uh, uh, taste of everything. Um, and in the group work class as well, they can, if, if the children have already learned instruments or they're used to playing in ensembles, then they can uh, work in traditional music in those groups as well. My name's Scott Hardy, I'm principal teacher at Smithton Primary School in Inverness. Well, Smithton Primary School, we've been involved with Face Ross for uh, some time in, in the past. Uh, for a number of years now, we've had tutors coming to the school and uh, providing a variety of different uh, musical experiences from our children. Tin whistle, group music making, traditional song and, and uh, things like that. And so we've been very keen to, to, to be, be involved with the Youth Music Initiative and uh, an opportunity like this to come together with other schools from the local area to uh, embrace the, 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 this teaching of traditional music. It, it was a great opportunity for us and we, we very much jumped at the chance to, to get involved. Hi, my name is Martin O'Parka. I'm a music instructor for the Highland Council. I go around uh, P6s and 7s in the area of the Highland Council. Um, some of the areas done by another chap over in the Black Isle. And it's my job to deliver guitar and drums uh, to P6s and 7s and they get this for four weeks. Uh, we use MIDI equipment to let them do this, which really lets them learn independently. Um, and it gives them a really basic knowledge and understanding of what playing the guitar and drums is all about. Today um, we are celebrating um, what we've been doing for the last 9-10 to 10 years, which is funded by YMI and the Island Council. So there are various different people um, gathered together to give kids different opportunities from doing group work, song work, doing the uh, guitar or drums with myself. And there have been other things on show like steel bands and things like that. So it gives the kids and lets them have the opportunity to see the sort of wide range of things that are happening in the Highland Council schools. Uh, my name is John Thompson. I'm one of the Kadai tutors as part of Highland Council's YMI programme. And uh, we go around and doing musicianship through singing in schools. I work with primary threes mostly. And we play games with the kids. And through these games, they're learning uh, various uh, techniques that can be ascribed to music. Uh, it's, it's all done subconsciously, so we teach them the various games that can be then used to extrapolate all of the musical uh, techniques that they need with pitch, beat, rhythm. Um, so they've learned it before we tell them what it is that they've learned. And because we're playing it through games and songs that some of them might know, usually folk songs as well, um, they enjoy it so much more and so when it comes to any sort of theory they're already engaged and they're willing to take it on board because they've already done the hard work in playing the game. Well, I think it's um, fun that um, we get sessions with face shots and, and fish and they come um, and teach us so Gaelic songs and music. I really enjoy Gaelic, so, and they're really interesting. I liked about today that 
the person that we had first was really funny and he taught us lots of good songs that I've never heard. Um, I liked um, the drumming because um, it helps me with my beat because I need to, I need to know um, my beat quite well because I play an instrument.